Top Instagram influencers who look nothing like their pictures in real life. I hope y'all liking these videos. Give me some feedback in the comments. I need to know if y'all like these reactions I'm doing. I'm going to post more vlogs, more pranks, public interviews. But right now, it's way more easier to do these reaction videos. So let me know if y'all like them. Uh, also, let me know what kind of videos y'all want me to react to. Send me some um, comments and stuff in the description on what you want me to react to next. Let's try to get to 200 likes. Subscribe. I'm dropping multiple videos every day. So let's see what this is. Influencers who don't look nothing like they do on social media. Everybody's trying to paint a picture of what they look like, look better on social media than they do in real life and all that kind of stuff. So um I'm about to break it down. I'm about to react to it. Let y'all know what I think about it. I try to be real in all my posts, but we gonna see. The temptation to edit our photos is all too enticing. Maybe you just want to get rid of that pimple that refuses to go away. Maybe you want to smooth over that squishy part of your tummy that shows when you sit down. It's nice, I named mine George. Listen, most people have edited their photos at some point. And if you haven't and you feel like you're perfect the way you are, I commend you, great job. But some people have taken the editing game so far that they don't even look like themselves anymore. You're about to hear the top 10 influencers who look nothing like their photos in real life. Get ready, you're gonna be shocked. Welcome back to another Tea Spilling Inform Overload Top 10. I'm Charlotte Dobre, subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss another video and follow the Inform Overload team on social media. I will admit that since I've been doing these videos, you know, the Photoshop videos, videos, I kinda, I don't really do it anymore. Body, like I don't even touch it. I'm not completely dedicated to exposing celebrities and influencers who about myself when I'm looking at photos of celebrities. Let me skip this. But those celebrities and influencers with perfect bodies and perfect faces also feel bad about themselves. How do I know this? They edit their photos and the editing has gotten out of control. Starting right, things off good. at number 10, we got the Claremont twins. Shannon and Sinead Claremont are influencer twins based in LA and NYC with 1.4 million followers on Instagram. They are famous for being really, really hot twins. But the twins are notorious users of editing apps to the point where they don't even look like themselves in person. The image on the left shows what they look like like on Instagram and the image on the right is what they look like in person. The twins have also had a fair amount of surgery over the years. Listen. The top photo is what they used to look like a few Come on, y'all. I mean, it's easy to say. If it was me and I had the bread, I probably, you know. I don't know if I was going for a certain look, but come on, y'all. The natural look nice. Like, what? I guess. I mean, if y'all got the bread, like I said, yeah, I I mean, it, they didn't have to change. Like, they didn't have to do all that, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. A few years ago, and the bottom photo is what they look like now. I wonder if they got the exact same surgeries so that they'd continue looking like twins. Or maybe they went to the same plastic surgeon, who knows. That's the whole point, right? We're looking at these pics and analyzing them. Anyways, all right, so moving on. Moving right along now to number nine on our list, Yelena Karluzars. Yo, who are these people? I've never heard of these people. Elena is a Serbian singer with a staggering 2.1 million followers on Instagram. She is the most followed Western Balkan woman on social media. And she's also thought of as both a pop and fashion icon. From her photos, she literally Versace, looks like a Versace. blonde Kim Kardashian. She's perfect. Almost too perfect. Yelena was exposed by another account, Beauty False. And man, the difference. Dang, Cuzzo. It looked like she was using that bloom effect, Cuzzo difference between what she looks like in person and what she looks like in photos is that's crazy all right let me tell y'all something i do not like when somebody send me a message or something and i go to see who they are hey trey what up you remember me i go to see who they are on their page and it's all snapchat filters on every single picture and i'm like who is this how do i remember you from high school if it's all snapchat filters I, girls ladies i mean guys if y'all doing it too have y'all real pictures up man like the snapchat filters with the bunny ears and the, the smooth thing like i've used this smooth thing on my face a couple times on tiktok live just because i mean i had some baggy eyes one time and i was trying to do like this nice looking TikTok and I just do the filter, get the little bags out of my eyes once, right? That's because I woke up early. But listen, come on, man. Like for real, like the Snapchat filters and I can't even tell who y'all are. Like that's how every single picture got the bunny ears with the blushy cheeks. I know what y'all know what I'm talking about, man. 
I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just out of the loop. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It's astonishing. She was born she in 1978, making her 41 years body. old. She's definitely not a young woman anymore, so I can understand the need to keep up appearances and remain as young looking as possible. For that's a dope picture. The one, on, like, that's a dope photo. Like, I mean, I think that's dope for like art's sake. Like, that just looks dope. This one right here. That's a dope picture you'll want to have like hanging up. It's like the Marilyn Monroe type um, vibes. Forever. The crazy thing is some celebrities are so big that you're never going to get close enough to them in person to see what they actually look like. In at number eight, Sweetie Juliana. This has oh, to be man. one of the Tell most me cases of face Come tuning on, on this list, Bieber. but honestly there was a lot so I just threw this one in there. Juliana has 151,000 Instagram followers. Some unedited photos of her surfaced on Yoba Journal. These photos were taken on the exact Wee. same day. Do you Dang. see how drastic that editing is? It is crazy. Yes. Even more crazy. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. That, that is not. That's the difference. I think that's probably because all the different chemicals she probably put on and stuff is probably making her break out. But maybe the beauty standards are changing. I mean, I, I know people with different surgeries and I mean, it doesn't always look bad. But like at the same time, I think people look nice naturally too. But people got the bread and they choose to do what they want. I mean... Maybe the beauty standards are changing. By the way, I need to keep up with myself a little bit more. I, I'm letting myself get too out of hand because I'm grinding and just clocking in, posting videos all the time. But maybe, hold on, I'm doing a video. Um, um, yeah, maybe I need to, I need to, I need to collect myself and get, you know, get my hair done. My hair is nasty, nappy. That's one thing I don't always show on the camera crazy if you were a fan of her and you saw her on the street you probably would have no idea that it's her in at seven the fashion freak the fashion freak aka Melly Sanchez is a verified influencer with 1.5 million followers on Instagram and there's videos up on her page as well that show she is genuinely an extremely beautiful woman and a very talented makeup artist but then like why all the editing bro she's also someone that's had quite a bit of plastic surgery mm. here's a photo that shows just how drastic her looks have changed over the years and here's a gift that shows an image taken straight hold on I guess people want to look perfect though, but there's no perfect in real life though. That's her naturally then? I don't, I don't see why she wanted to change. Like, that's crazy. Like, it's just how drastic her looks have changed over the years. And here's a GIF that shows an image taken straight from a Getty Images camera, paired with that same image, but ended. Savage, yo. By the way, Getty Images is a database where photographers will take photos at events, and anyone can access these photos online. That's why it's possible to get both versions. In at number six, we got Tana Mojo. You knew oh she was gonna gosh. be on this list. Tana Ooh, loves cool. editing her photos. She's been exposed people, time and time again, and she's been called out for her excessive use of editing apps by Bella Thorne. Now, Tana doesn't do a heck of a lot of face tune on her face, but she's shown to use it excessively on her body. This photo is the most famous one, the one That's in the yellow crazy. bikini. Oh yeah, I know you know that one. The photo <laughs> on the left was what Stop. she posted to Instagram, and the photo on the right is a screen grab from a video taken on the exact same day, Yo, wearing man. the same yellow bikini that shows her real body. And she doesn't even do that good of a job Yo, at hiding. Man. Nah, nah, see, look. Mm -mm. Can you imagine? Pulling up and you don't talk to somebody in the DMs and you pulling up and they look that different. That's wild. I don't get it. The evidence. Her photos are always filled with blurred pixels and wonky lines all over the place. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with having a body that looks like that. But I mean, don't make people feel bad about themselves if you don't have a body like that. <laughs> Man, I got all the roles coming out. I'm just oh. That's crazy. In at number five, Juliana That's Naughty. Like Juliana is a change. stylist and influencer with one million followers on Instagram. Yo, she so also holds seminars on, on how to be to insta famous. And she makes people pay money for that too. Oh From her my photos, gosh. She people DM me all the time. Yo, I can make you famous. Verify people with a million followers. I can make you famous. I'm like, bro, why are you DMing me and you got a million followers to my making me famous? Like, bro, come on, man. Like the cert yeah that nah. she looks no more than 30 years old she often poses in front of iconic european photo destinations like the eiffel tower and the duomo in milan but juliana looks nothing like her photos in real life here's some before and afters look man she's still a beautiful woman but she's just she's just a little older why she needs to conceal that it ain't nothing wrong with getting older nothing wrong with age like for real nothing wrong with it it's just when people are swiping through instagram though i get it you want to be seen and, and you want to keep up with, I guess, the younger girls on social media. But there's nothing wrong with getting older. There's nothing wrong with age. And I get it. You probably want to keep up. But 
I mean, you don't have to, man. Maybe they need to do something to where they start showing more appreciation for older women or something. Because there's nothing wrong with age, like for real. I mean, I think there's beauty in age, like period, you know? That is beyond me. It's totally okay to get a little bit older. But looking back at her photos on her Instagram account, she just doesn't look real. She looks like, like a video game character or something. And she actually looks different if you compare her Instagram photos side by side. Her face changes a lot. That's crazy. Honestly, I just, I kind of feel bad for her. Hey, at number four, we got Sahar Tabar. No, you've been what watching the heck? Yo, I, I'm trying not to be rude on these boys, man, because people be so mad at me, man. I don't, I don't know, dog. This this channel for a while, you know all about Sahar Tabar. She's an Iranian influencer who edits the crap out of her photos to the point where she looks like the corpse bride. Sahar Tabar's editing okay, is so drastic that you can physically see the pixels being moved around and stretched out. Now, it's not just editing. Sahar Tabar's photos are a combination of both Thriller. editing and makeup. Things like prosthetics, contouring, and colored con- Yo. Contact lenses are something that she uses often, but she really looks nothing like her photos in real life. She's actually a very beautiful woman. Sadly, Sahar Tabar's shocking online persona has gotten her in a lot of trouble lately. She lives in Iran and she was arrested on charges of blasphemy, among other things like okay. insulting the country's dress code. It is that's likely tough. that Sahar Tabar will spend some time in prison over. That's sad, man. That's, that's tough. I have no idea of what that must be like. Like, that's, that's sad that women actually got to go through that, though. I mean, I feel like she should be free to create how she want to create. Like, that's tough. That's real tough. Her social media posts. And at number three, we got James Charles. James Charles is- Hey, Jay Charles. Don't, don't blast Jay Charles, man. Don't do it. Jay Charles seemed like one of the people who, who look fresh no matter what. Like, I don't know. I ain't expecting them to show a, a real life picture of James Charles and it to be like, to look different. I don't think James Charles gonna look much different. I mean, everybody look different without makeup, but I don't think he gonna look like that. Like, let's see. Is known for his excessive use of editing. But unlike many of the other people on this list, James Charles does not hide the fact that he edits his photos. He shows before and afters very often, and he's even done video tutorials on how to edit your photos with Facetune. But you really get a feel for how drastic his editing is when you look at photos of him edited versus photos of him in person. Check out this selfie. Insane. Here is a gif of how much he edited his Met Gala photos. Like he even changed the that is shape crazy. of his head and his hair and his neck. James Charles' whole claim to fame is his makeup abilities, but Finally, those abilities are pretty much pointless if you're just using apps to change the shape of your entire face. Honestly, I feel like he looks better without the editing. All that face tune makes him look like an alien and not the <laughs> kind of alien I want to hug. She just roasted fam. In at number two, Anastasia Kvitkoru. Anastasia is a Russian glamour model with 10.2 million Instagram followers. She's been exposed time and time again for making herself look absolutely nothing like she does in real life. I've come across this woman before, like so many before and afters of her so many times. In edited photos, she looks like a tall Selena Gomez with an absolutely perfect hourglass That's crazy. Body. Without editing though, <laughs> I mean. That is crazy. Completely different person, right? That's not to say that it isn't okay to look the way she does in person. Man, I'm not perfect. I got cellulite. I got stretch marks. I'm, you know, like it is what it is. But damn, yo, her 10.2 million followers are following someone that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> By the way, pro tip, if you're looking at photos of someone online and they have absolutely no skin texture, that is a really good indication that they edit their photos. All right, and at Man. number one. Wait, I thought they just showed number one. The social media world is tough, y'all. I hope I don't paint a fake persona about my life on social media. Like, I hope I don't do that because I never want to lead people astray. One on this list, Elba Prescooley. Elba Prescooley is an Instagram influencer with around 118,000 followers on the platform. From her photos, you never would have guessed that she would be anything other than perfect. She's extremely thin as well. She looks like a Victoria's Secret model. How is it even possible to have a waist that small? Uh, spoiler alert, it's not possible. Well, it is possible with Facetune. Elba Prescooley actually had to make her Instagram account private because she was recently exposed by my favorite Instagram account, Celeb Face. She actually is the person who inspired this list because I have never seen such a drastic use of editing in my life. Elba Prescooley on the left is what she looks like on Instagram. And Come on, man. She ain't have to change. Elba on the right is what she looks like in real life. We know this because she was recently at a red carpet event and there were Getty Images photographers there. Getty Images are accessible by anyone, like I said. Yeah, I think the original is like better. Like I think that's a better picture. 
Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching this. Let me know y'all thoughts. If y'all want to see me react to more uh videos like this, let me know in the comments. Let's get it. I ain't gonna go too long. This video already dragging on, but I'm out.